But has got me thinking, there's got to be a better way than this. The answer is, of course, to lift your workspace off of the honeycomb. Now, this sounds simple, but it's actually a bit more involved than what you would think. Because there's certain criteria I wanted this to have. So the first thing I did when I got my S1 was to position the honeycomb in such a way spaced out so that I know exactly this little corner here that you see on screen is always going to be my origin corner from where I can actually put any design and it's repeatable. The second thing was I wanted these spaces to not be in the way of the maximum cutting area that I have on my machine which means that I want these parts to index the board in exactly the same place. So by lifting the board, you're actually creating a draft underneath your material, which will pull the flame away from your work surface, which results in much cleaner cuts. On my machine, I need an eight millimeter space in the front of the tray and then move the tray all the way to the back and then move the honeycomb all the way to the right. This means if I put my indexing mark right on that corner it will line up perfectly with my honeycomb and this is what I came up with so these are ticking all the boxes for me now because they are doing all the different things that I expected from them the first thing they need to do they need to index this corner for me so that I know if I put a board in there it's going to be indexed as if it was actually laying flat on the honeycomb Now the magnets are optional but I like having them just makes positioning a bit better and you can also if you have the riser base they can be stored next to it or against it. Now you can see if I position a board into these now then it will line up with my honeycomb perfectly so that I have the cut facing that I used to have on the flat honeycomb bed. And I made the footprint as small as I possibly could at about eight millimeters from the side so that you don't lose more than that from the corners if you wanted to cut all the way to the edge. 